Alright, so in this video, I'm going to attempt to give some career advice. Um, or more, I'm going to build upon what a lot of people have said to me as career advice. Um, and so I'll tell you what I think about it. And I've heard people say this to me a lot. Like, it's usually like my mum's friends, you know, when I talk to them about my career. And basically, where I am at the moment, like, I don't really have a clear idea of like, what I really want to do with my life, you know. Um, like, part of me just, you know, I've just got started this job, you know, it's 9 to 5. You know, part of me thinks I should do YouTube, part of me thinks I should be like a digital nomad, you know. Part of me still thinks I should just focus on career, you know, like a normal 9 to 5. Uh, you know, I've got so many sort of, I just feel really unclear with what I really want out of life. And, you know, if you're, a, especially if you're a guy or like a typically sort of, you're a guy with a more masculine essence. And what, what I mean by that is in the kind of, that you're most motivated by goals. You know, you get, you just get super fixated by kind of goals. You're very goal seeking. Um, if you're if this kind of guy, which I usually am, you know, when I have a goal, I do really just set out and just achieve it. Um, if you don't really have a, like a really clear idea of like what you want in life, it's, it's awful. Like it's really sort of difficult to be kind of fulfilled and, and happy. Um, and, but anyway, I find myself like talking to, you know, people about my job and stuff. And like I say, it's usually like someone like my mum's friends or, or, you know, something like that, who will say something like, like this. And they'll say, don't worry if you don't know what, what you're doing yet. Um, you know, I'm, I'm 56 and I still don't know what, what I want to do yet. And it's, you know, it's sweet advice. And people say that meaning, like meaning well, you know, um, but I sort of, I sort of look at when people say that I sort of look at them and I think like, what made you the good example? You know, what what made you think I want to be like you? And that you know, sounds a bit rude, but the, I'm not saying that as an insult. But my point is, the people who say that to me like they're completely different. They're just motivated by completely different things to to me. I'm just sick of like getting advice from people, these kind of people who just, they, they're not most of, they're not as goal oriented. They're not, the idea of not having a clear goal, like it's not a, as big of an issue for them. Um, and it's funny because like you go, I feel like when you go into university and like you get these career advice people like come and talk to you and these are the kind of people who, who will say this kind of stuff. And it's usually someone you know, I remember doing this, and it's usually someone, and they're like, you know, obviously they've, they've done a degree, they're qualified to, like, you know, give you advice about your career or whatever, they, they can be helpful and stuff. But I slightly look at these people, and it's like, we're so different, you know? You don't, career, I'm sorry, like, career just isn't as important to you. Like, you don't have the same feeling inside inside of you that, that, that I do. Like, and you can just, I can just look at them, and I just know, like, you don't, like, leaving a legacy, like, having some kind of purpose, it's just not as important as you, like, you, you, you're you just happy to, like, log on at nine o'clock onto Zoom, you know, finish at five, and then that's it, you know, um, but like I say, if you're a goal-oriented person, that's not enough, you know, just doing some job, and that, you know, logging on, and logging off, and then going to the pub, and then, you know, a few holidays a year to, to some, you know, fairly average place that's, you know, it's all right, you know, it's it's nice. You know, you get just enough to, to get by. Um, it's just, there's not, I can just tell, I, I, I'm just fed up of getting advice from people like that. Because they just, they, they just don't know where to start with me. Like, I can just tell that they're wired differently. They see the world differently. I'm not knocking this because I don't think it's like great to be super goal oriented. Like I think people who are super goal oriented, like there are lots of advantages to it. Like we can accomplish great things. You know, we, we, we really can like make things happen. Um, but fundamentally, I'm just coming at it from a perspective of like, um, this is how I am, you know, good or bad. I have just really a desire to focus on, on goals and just, really want to achieve like 
are just crazy things that, that just don't make sense to other people, you know. Um, and, I mean, it's funny, I think part of the reason why Andrew Tate popped off so much is because there are lots of guys who are similar, who are very goal-orientated, very goal-oriented. And suddenly, for the first time in their life, there's some guy giving, like, career advice that isn't just, oh, don't worry about your career, you know, just, just you know, I, I um, yeah, I still don't know what I'm doing, you know, we're all just coasting it. You know, f you know, for the first time in their life, this guy just came in onto the scene and he said, look, you know, you've got to make as much money as you possibly can, otherwise you're just going to be a slave for the rest of your life. And, you know, I'm not saying that's good advice necessarily, I think there's, there's a bit of refining to do, but, you know, no wonder... You know, someone was fi someone's finally telling men like what what they thought all along, which was like, yeah, I do I do want to work hard. I do want to have accomplish incredible things. Um, and you know, I'm not saying it's just men. You know, some women are m much more goal oriented, and some some men aren't very goal oriented. Um, <clears throat> but it, it's a general rule. Uh, so anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so this idea that. I think, like, if you're if you are a masculine guy and you you, you do have this kind of, and when I say masculine, I just mean like this sort of goal oriented way of looking at the world where you just want to achieve goals. Um, this sort of soft advice that people get give you about your career, it's not going to cut it. It's 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 bullshit, and this this idea that it's kind of acceptable to be a young man and not know what you want to do with your life. The idea that that's just kind of all right and it's a problem that will sort itself out is it make it bores my blood that, that that no one's kind of checked that no one's kind of corrected that because it's, it's it's bullshit if if you are a young man like you should it is a problem if you don't have like a clear direction in your life um because no one who achieved great things just kind of fell into it you know um do you think Alexander the Great just fell into being a military leader? Do you think John Lennon just fell into being a musician? You know, of course they didn't. These guys had a vision for what they wanted out of their life. You know, they felt called to a purpose. And they worked incredibly hard to make it happen. You know, I know, I know people say, like, oh, John Lennon, he was a hippie, you know, whatever, but... Like, let's come on. He, he he did work hard. Like, especially if you read about the the backstory of the Beatles. Like, those guys did work hard, you know, and they were certainly motivated by an image. Um, now, you know, there was some randomness to it. You know, um, did John Lennon when he was sixteen years old know exactly what he was going to do as a musician? Like, exactly what sort of style he was going to do, what sort of direction he was going to take? No, of course he didn't. He he was open to randomness to opportunity you know he let the world sculpt his his sort of um his journey you know like he, the 60s happened you know he got into hippiedom um you know yono oko you know came along and that she influenced his music a lot as well um but fundamentally you know so you do still need to be open to opportunity but fundamentally he was he had like a an image that was guiding him and you know same with Alexander the Great, or you know any any great man, you know um, Winston Churchill, um, uh, yeah. Um, who else have I got here? Albert Einstein. You know, now I'm not saying like I'm not saying that these guys just are so rigid in their frame that they never looked outside of it, but they they weren't just kind of seeing how things were going. You know, they were they were. They had like an image that was guiding them all the way through, and this idea that it's just acceptable to just let young men kind of um, see where things go without checking that is bad. Now I'm not saying it's the end of the world if you don't know exactly what your purpose is, or you know you don't really have like a clear plan for your life. Like you know I don't. It's not a problem, but you should be able to recognise that it is a problem, and take the steps to, to solve it, you know, um, you do need to still address it, um, so it's not the end of the world, but you should address it, you should recognise that most of your fulfilment in life is going to come from, um, 
from conquests, you know, in whatever way it takes, from achieving goals, from setting out to, to achieve things. Um, and I think a lot, you know, some people just don't care about legacy in the same way. And these are often like, these are the people who often give the most advice about career. You know, they're often the kind of people who are drawn to, to giving career advice. Um, and yeah, I just think I'm fed up of it. I'm fed up of just being told, don't worry, you know, just, yeah, it'll all be fine. You know, you just figure something out and then, you know, look at me now, you know, and they'll say, <laughs> These people, like, they'll say that, but they'll be like, oh, look at me now, you know, it'll turn out fine. It's like, yeah, I know, I know it turned out fine. Like, you know, you're able to have a career, you know, whatever, you, you earn some money, but it's not about that. It's not about that, you know. Um, and like I say, I'm not saying I'm better than anyone. You know, like I say, I think being goal striving, like, it does have a lot of sacrifices. And yeah, I'm not saying it's better or worse. But it's just how it is for me. I am like this, you know. You know, it's how God's made me. And I can't change it. You know, I've got to go with it. Um, I'm just so frustrated that, yeah, I guess my whole life, I, just no one's ever sort of, sit, like, just, I never just sat down with, like, a similar person who was, like, very career, like, very goal-oriented, you know, that sort of, masculine sort of vision and just being understood you know um and they've been like yeah you're like this is how you are it's, it's not it's not a bad thing you know um you just gotta know how to use it um so yeah i just hope there's something you can take away from this is that <clears throat> if you feel like you're more goal striving don't let anyone take that away from you you know don't don't just let that average careers advisor in your university or in your school who's you know got nothing going for them um career wise tell you that you know tell you how it is because they don't get it they don't get it you know um so there you go guys um as always link in the description doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching at the moment um book a candidly event with me uh in the link uh just free call would be great to hear from you uh, but apart from that guys it's been a pleasure